let's continue working with charging. And one thing what I want to look at is water. So you notice right here, we have it open. They were going to add, we have only one option to add lake. Okay, let me do one thing. And right now, before we do this, I want to just actually zoom out. So we'll zoom all the way out. Let's say position and move even out more. So notice right here, this is circle, it's creating our lake. Even we affecting, we still have it creating in some cases like instance almost to this. Okay, let me reset, go back to our water. And let's look on some properties what we have it. So let me select it. And once again, we can rename it. We have it enable disabled, which is very useful when you start rendering and currently want to remove it. There also in the water, it's handled as an object. So as a main one, lake, before we go to any shaders, water shaders, you notice transform, we have maximum radius, which is cover. We have a position of the center apply to the planet so we can currently it's going to planet one if we have other ones we can switch this and assign to different type of planet so it will go around the planet as well and we have it surface shader so currently you can see we have water uh, shader and we have a displacement surface so let me go ahead and go inside the water shader right here as a water I want to look on some properties. Roughness, it's how rough the surface will be. So it's actually take um, angle and kind of creating a peak to this towards. So in some cases, imagine you have a line and it's go high. So if it's go smooth or high peak top. Right here, increasing roughness will increase overall, like almost chappedness of our water. Okay, we can look on preview. Uh, wave scale, it's overall scale of the waves. If we want to call, create a river, a small breeze, we probably want to create like shimmering water, we want to take with these waves and decrease size. As well as small scales, you'll notice overall we have a two, we have it a large waves, which is go like this, and we have it small waves. So this is smaller scale of that effect and wave scale overall it's large waves going around okay next we have wind patch effect which is um amount of variations in different areas of the water so and this is best when we represent what i would say with shimmering because sometimes you look on lake and you have a little bit more effect in one area and smooth it in another ones the wind patch effect that is what affecting to increasing this we can increase the difference between those areas okay as well as wind patch size currently it's 100 so you can create smaller or larger area and right here you can see easy right here we have some of the patch of the wind effect and in this area we have it a little bit smoother we also have it a uh, wind patch sharpness which is um it's a how sharp line, line between areas. So right here, how smooth. By increasing, we can create a smoother line. And by decreasing, we can create almost like one single area turbulence as well. Okay, next, um, actually sharpness this way. So let's pop up so we can preview. Okay, reflections. We have master reflectivity which is overall how much water is will reflect it. Index of refraction 133, it's a default for the water. However, you can create a um, higher or lower value depending on the refraction of the water. And uh, in some cases, if you want to create more distortions, you can pop up this refraction. Also, we have a horizontal shift. It is how the shift of the reflection based on horizontal uh, relatively raised relatively to the cameras okay next we have a highlight intensity it's control string of the highlights and minimum highlight spread it's control how the diffuse or spread out of highlights is from single point 
So for example, let's go pop up highlights all the way. So right here we should have it. And you know what? Let me take this shift kind of blending a little bit more in a little bit. Okay. You can see highlights. And if we pop up diffuse, it will spread them a little bit better. Um, in some cases, if you want to create a nice water refraction when you look inside, you probably want to pop up a little bit highlights and keep it minimum highlights slightly down. So in this case, if we have a rock underwater and we want to see all this um, rays coming through kind of effect simulating, so we probably want highlights high but spread a little bit lower in this case. Okay, so next what I want to look at is subsurface scattering. So right here we have an overall transparency. And of course, the less transparency, the less we can see it in there. Decay distance, it's when light going through this and dissipating. So if we want to create more muddy look, we can reduce a little bit and reduce decay distance. So we can have it this kind of semi muddy as well. Decay thin, so we can go select it, create a little bit more decay thin, select it. And we can create kind of more muddy look for our water by using the decay distance, how far decayed, and as well as the transparency, how water transparent. So you can more simulate it this way. We also have it volume di distance and color. So in this case, we can separate and creating a little bit more um, natural look of the water. So again, some of these properties will look a little bit more closer when we start working with the water covering torus. Okay, and we also have just a normal random seed, so we can apply it on the different um, water, so we'll see. Again, remember, if you like some distributions, you can kind of copy and remember the seed number, so you can reuse in your next project.